going to say, Mom? It's nothing bad, Hope. Everything is in a positive way. I don't, I don't know what under, you're getting so you're, 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 com about. you're fucking confusing me. You're you're telling me no contest, not guilty. What is what did what does she want? Does she want me to say not guilty, no contest? What? She had you plead no contest, Hope. So I'm assuming she wanted you to plead no contest. That's Lord what she said. Lord Almighty, I mean, I'm pretty sure she would have because stepped she up and said, said you're the cops fucking had up. You. Hope. She said the cops had you. On the video, in the back, when you got back in the car, you had the pills in your hand. I didn't have no pills in my fucking hand. Well, at one point in the game, according to the video, no, from the not lawyers, at you had one pills point. in your hand. Bullshit, no, at no one point in the fucking game, I had no pills. I don't know, she must got you fucked up or something, because there is no pills. Well, Terry, Terry Schumacher's saying the same thing, Hope. They've all reviewed the vi videos. You have the front scene video, and then you have the rear view video, which is what she was talking about in court today. No, Mom. She was talking about that they have me sitting in the back of the vehicle. Okay. You need to re-talk to her then. Because that's exactly what she told me and Bill today. Well, didn't everybody watch the video? Didn't everybody see that I didn't have no pills in my hand? From the front view, but they have another in the video back view, of you and in the I back view. And I watched the back view. The back view only shows Misty having the fucking pills because Misty cupped two pills to try to say the dope boy fucked, her, uh, fucked them over. Well, then I don't know why she's saying that. I don't understand why they're saying that, but I'm not going to fucking pin 15 years on no fucking pill I ain't touched. Maybe she's getting you mixed up with Misty. I don't know. Not from the way she talked, but I, I don't know. I guess you need to write her a letter and, and <laughs> talk to her. Man, you've got me so fucking confused and heated right now. There's no reason for you to be heated. I liked how she explained everything to me today. You, liked how you... Really? All it's I'm kind of funny you how my cousin... the rehab... You could now see all the now it could go in, in an even better way because she's going to talk to Terry Shoemaker and and see if Ronald will testify on your behalf. Ronald already pled to testify on my behalf. Ronald already we're already ten steps in front of the fucking game if everybody knows how to pick up their damn step. This is this is what this is what. The jail what administration means. will disconnect your call in. Three minutes. All right, well, I ain't meaning to confuse you, baby. The way it was explained today... And not only and that, everybody was supposed to plead an, o an open courthouse means people are supposed to go in front of the, uh, in front of the judge and speak how they feel about things. And, you know, did she tell you that part, that she need, probably needs your number to o plead an open house court? Did she tell you that? No. Well, that's just fucking great. Only got three fucking minutes to explain the shit. Okay, let me let me rephrase this. Okay, three minutes is you uh, open courthouse is when this, the person comes up and uh, says and says, "Hey, your daughter, um, my daughter was this good at this and that and this and that yeah, and this and this." I'm happy witnesses. I understood all that. <clears throat> she just didn't say it was an open court. She just asked me. That my part in the game was to make sure you had witnesses stating how you were. The jail administration will disconnect oh, yeah, your call in that. two she minutes. It, she didn't call it open court. She just told me my part in the game was to gather as many witnesses as possible to yeah. testify on your behalf. And I have them. J.D.'s talking to his people. He's going to try and be there. If not, I got he, to try to get this by next week, Mom. She said, send me uh, the numbers and the people that I can have by next week. Hope, I've already called and told her Granny's coming, Teresa's coming, Crystal's coming if, if they'll let her off. Renee's coming. JD's going to talk to him tomorrow right, well, and let I me know if I, he's got to be just, subpoenaed. I ain't got time to argue because right now I'm not in a very fucking good mood at all because, you know, I heard that Rob got denied drug court. I mean, I'm hearing all kinds of shit. I mean, I'm not in a good mood. Well, I'm sorry, baby, but yours ain't bad.
I need to know what's going on with my old man and don't know a damn thing because people can't wait for The jail call. administration will disconnect your call in one minute. Well, I'll try and be there tomorrow, but I'm supposed to move my stuff, so I'll try and be there. Well, either way, uh, I'll find out what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, my bunkie's going to court with him. So, uh, either way, if anything, I guess I'll call Granny. But, okay. I'm sorry, Mom, for flipping out. It's not your fault. Right now, it's just I'm not in a good mood. I'm very upset right now because the way people are, it just is. That's fine, Hope, but you're okay. But, I love you. I love you, too. That woman said to tell you to keep praying. You're attorney. Yeah. Because so she believes in the higher power, so what does that tell you? Yeah. Well, I miss you, and I love you. I love you, too. And I miss you. I miss you, too, Mom. And you look good today. Thank you. What is all that noise? The jail administration has disconnected your call.